Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech, your right to repair guy, and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. It's been a very long time. I hope you guys are doing well. So today's video is all about the latest method for the open menu devices after the recent Apple patch. Actually, there are lots of patches have been implemented by Apple in the recent month, but this one is the latest we have fixed it. And now the open menu services are back, and you can use this service on any iPhone or iPad model from older to latest one on latest iOS version i will show you how you can do that step by step in this video we will see that all the compatibility like how you can check it it is supported for open menu or not and how you can perform further so just stay tuned in the video and just to brief for the new users those who are unaware of the open menu devices and its service it is a service that allow you to remove the apple id and the icloud from its settings directly from the server that means after the deletion your device will be completely free from icloud and it will set up like a new unlock device this situation mainly occurs when you forget your own apple id account password and the apple id is stuck in the setting but you have access to the device setting you can access everything but still you want to remove that apple id from the settings so that is called the open menu service and its devices so exactly this problem we will solve it in the open menu service so now i hope you got the little idea about the process so now without further delay let me just start this video all right now let's start and this method is without pc method so it's a good thing no pc or computer required so the first thing you have to check the compatibility you have to go to the settings and you will go to the passcode section and make sure that your device having the passcode or face id or touch id enabled and in case your device passcode is not enabled just go to the settings and set a new passcode and enable the touch id or face id as per your device and after that you have to go to the safari and just go to the icloud com and here it will load the icloud sign in page now here it will see you will get the login page and it will allow you to log in with your passcode touch id or face id and you can enter on this page that means you are good your device is supported but in some cases if you click on sign in and it will show you login with your password or sign in with your apple id account that means your device is not eligible so this is the compatibility check that is the first thing you have to check your device have passcode touch id or face id if not you can set it after that go to the safari and log into the icloud account if it allow you to log in with a face id touch id or passcode directly you are good to go your device is supported but in case if you see this screen sign in with the apple id account that means your device is not eligible for the open menu device and it's not supported so these are the simple steps to check the compatibility of your device with the open menu service so now my device is supported next i will move further like how you can perform it and turn off the icloud and find my completely from your device okay so next thing open the safari again and head over to this website hfz open menu tech i will post the url on the screen or you can pause the video and check it out after that you will see this page there are some steps that is already mentioned like download the shortcut and then sign into the apple id and in the step 3 you will see the requirements and eligibility criteria that we have already seen so what devices eligible already then we have to order the find my off code so i will just show you how you can do that step by step it's very easy so the step number one you have to download this shortcut and you have to just import it in the shortcut app and before that there is an important thing as it's a no pc method you will also require the ipsw file so that after the find my phone off or icloud removed you have to freshly restore your device so you have to make sure that the ipsw file is already downloaded in your system or you already have the setup so that after the process you can immediately flash your device so you can just go to this website and download the ipsw file as per the different model you have whether it's an iphone or ipad so you can download it and if you already download on your system with the itunes or three tools you can ignore this step so step number one you can just click on this shortcut and download it you will see it will show you this screen and just click on add shortcut and you can see in your shortcut app you will see hfz open menu so we are good here now go to the second step and the second step is add a shortcut app that we have already done we have downloaded the shortcut and added in the shortcut apps next thing you have to just sign in with the apple id click on that button and it will open the same 
page on your Safari browser and here you will see it will ask you to continue and it will show your Apple ID and just sign in with a passcode, touch ID or face ID. Make sure it will allow you. If it's not allowing you, that means your device is not supported. Now next here you will see your iCloud dashboard or sometime it will show blank page like this. Now go to the share page option and just select the HFZ shortcut tab. Now here it's very important you have to click on allow all and give all the permission it is asking. Just click on allow again. Now just wait for it. Click on allow. You have to allow all things then only it will work. Now you can see you will get this HFZ FMI off code. This code is very important. This code will allow you to turn off the Find My and remove the iCloud from your device from through the server. So you have to just copy this code and just follow these steps. You have to turn off your Wi-Fi and put the Apple mode on. All the data connection and your mobile services need to turn off. Now just copy this code and now you have to register this FMI code in the server so that we can order the service for the open menu and turn off your Find My phone directly from the server so it's very easy you just need to copy this code and you need to register with it for the registration just check out the description link you will get my telegram link just go there send me this fmi code screenshot plus your device serial number and i will register it in the server and do the find my phone off and remember this unlock code lasts for 10 minutes after the 10 minutes you have to retry the process and generate the new code again so the expiry time is 10 minutes after that you will get the new code once i give you the command that your device is unlocked then you can just check the status of the find my and after that you can simply restore your device so let me just show you i have already ordered the service and my device is completely fma off the server take one or two minutes to reply for the fma off i will attach the server screenshot for you on the screen so you have a look so let me just uh, check the fmi status of the serial again and show you the device is completely unlocked and then we will move further for the restore process and to check the serial you can contact me i will give you the free check reports or you can google it there are lots of free checkers available like ifreeicloud.uk or iunlocker so let me check on both uh, maybe the ifreeicloud is not giving the details with the serial sometime it will give uh, with the imei and sometime it will give with the serial so that's normal it's a free checker so let me check on another website mm, let's paste the serial Okay, now you can see that it's showing the FMI off. That means the iCloud is removed from the server. Now, next thing, it's very important. Don't connect with the Wi-Fi again. Stay like this. Just connect with the PC and open the iTunes or Creo tools and just use the latest software file, the latest IPSW you have downloaded or you can download from the Creo tool and just click on the full flash or quick flash. And after that, just simply flash your device and complete restore. You can also use iTunes, Creo tools as by your choice so let's wait for the restore process to get complete i will just fast forward the video Alright so see the restore process is done and your device is on the setup page. Don't worry about this ID showing on the hello screen. The device is already unlocked. Just connect to the Wi-Fi and set up it and let's see it's proceeding or not. So now you can see the data and privacy page. That means the device is completely unlocked. Now simply set up the device to the home screen.
okay so welcome to the ipad and you can see we have successfully unlocked the device and it's open and everything is normal let's go to the settings and see there is no apple id account it's a freshly unlocked ipad completely like a new device so now you can use it normally all the things will work as it's a completely unlocked method and you can use it on any device any iphones or ipad models or latest ios version to the lower one if your device is supported and eligible for the open open menu service so you can order your fmi code make sure that the code lasts for 10 minutes after that you have to regenerate the code so you can coordinate with the registration accordingly for the registration you can check out the description link so that's all for today's video session i hope you gain some knowledge and enjoying my content like this i will see you in another video so till then goodbye take care and peace out